Good morning, Mount Olive. The following are your weekly announcements. On call this week, Alpha Flock, Leotis Ford, Shirley Murray, Shirley Sangster, Sledia Sweeney. Mount Olive, today we wear pink in recognition of breast cancer awareness. We honor our members who are breast cancer survivors and remember those who are still in the fight. Early detection is the key. Make sure you get regular exams and do monthly self-breast checkups. Thank you to all the donors and walkers who participated. We raised $2,688 towards this great cause. A special thank you to our top fundraisers, Lois Dale, Amelia Johnson, and Gwen Lowry. Kudos to the Gamma Flock for taking first place in this endeavor. The college ministry will be going to have prayer with Saginaw Valley State University students on tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Please see Minister Marcel Smith for details. Our annual Trunk or Treat will be held on Tuesday, October 31st. Sign up and information are on the greeter's desk. Those not bringing their cars may bring candy donations to the church office. The Wolverine Baptist State Extended Session will convene Wednesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. at the Baptist Building. True Vine Baptist Church will hold their Thanksgiving worship and praise revival November 7th through the 9th at 6.45 p.m. nightly. Pastor Smith will be the speaker. The Young Adult Ministry is sponsoring a Thanksgiving basket giveaway. We are asking the congregation to donate items to be included in the baskets. A list of those specific items and details are on the greeter's desk and church office. Donations are due Wednesday, November 15th. The Usher's Ministry will hold their annual celebration on Sunday, November 19th at 4 p.m. Pastor Alan Overton of the Second Baptist Church will be the speaker. Christmas speeches for our children and youth will be available after both services on Sunday, November 12th and 19th in the Fellowship Hall. See Jennifer Scott for questions. A reminder to parents that angel choir rehearsals are held every Wednesday at 5 p.m. and on Saturdays before the first and second Sundays at 2 p.m. Daylight savings time begins next Sunday. Be sure to set your clocks ahead one hour. Thank you, Mount Olive, from the family of Charles McMillan, Jr., for our prayers, support, and all acts of kindness during their time of bereavement. Need announcement updates, reminders, and or church calendar? Visit our website at www.mtoimbc.org.